Elsa, why don't you start out by telling us what is Dog Rescue Without Borders and how did you and your co-founders come up with this? Well, uh, Dog Rescue Without Borders is a nonprofit uh, 501c3 uh, uh, dog rescue organization here, based here in San Diego. It was founded in uh, 2012. And uh, there's a saying that says, when there's a will, there's a way. And um, uh, we started with four people. Michelle Arredondo, she's based here in San Diego. We're, we're actually co-workers. Okay. And uh, we share a passion for animals. And um, we started helping a, a dog in TJ. And long story short, we, we realized that our help was not getting to the dog. So we said, hey, you know what? Why do we have to go through a group to help animals when we can found our own group? Sure. So we teamwork with a couple of other um, individuals from Tijuana. Their names are Cynthia and Denise. And um, that's how we started the nonprofit. And we started tackling one dog at a time. And um, that was back in uh, 2012. Till this date, we have placed around 600 dogs in uh, forever loving homes. What a beautiful thing. Thank you for that. So your business model is structured a little bit different than a traditional shelter. So why don't you tell me about that? Yes, what we do, it's a, it's a volunteer-based um, uh, group. We don't have a shelter. Uh, we work with a network of fosters here in, in San Diego and Tijuana. Um, and the entire group is um, volunteer based, as I said. Um, we have rescuers, we have fosters, we have um, volunteers that pick up donations, uh, people that work, um, you know, in social media, in uh, uploading dogs into Adopt a Pet, talking, doing, performing the uh, interviews, reviewing applications. I mean, a lot of those things I, I do and Michelle does, we touch every single step of the process at some point. Um, and, um, and, you know, the beauty of this is that um, the dogs, when they're rescued, uh, they, they go straight to the vet and then into a home. Okay. So the dog starts to get acclimated to that and starts learning what it is to live in a family at a home instead of a you know, in a, in a shelter, mm -hmm. which is, you know, it's, it's tough for them um, um, to go from sometimes the street to a shelter and being there for many, sometimes months, mm -hmm. and then into a home. 